At the beginning of this video you saw me unbox my DJI Mavic Pro uh, for the first time. Uh, it wasn't a proper unboxing video, I didn't want to do that, there's tons of those on YouTube. Um, so you can just go and look for those if you want to, you'll get better unboxing quality of video and advice as well from those people. Um, I also didn't do a, a maiden flight video, um, purely down to the fact is again there's absolute hundreds of those on, on YouTube and what I'm going to do is I'm going to link a few of them down in my description below. Uh, one in particular that was really useful when I first set up my DJI Mavic because uh, it helped me with all of the calibrations and things like that and what you need to do before you get that first flight going. Um, but once you do, wow it's amazing, especially some of the footage you can get, but that 4K camera is absolutely stunning and if you can get to grips with using it properly quite quickly you can get some awesome videos. Um, so good luck and what's going to follow is a few more videos from me. Um, of various places wherever I take it because uh, one of the amazing things one of the beautiful things about having the DJI Mavic is it's so quick to set up it's so small and light it fits in your little pouch you can take that anywhere chuck it in the boot of your car have it with you whenever you go walking anything like that um, set us up in a couple of minutes uh, and you can send it out for its flight get some decent footage and so on uh, one small piece of advice I'll give you is before you go anywhere, if you think you're going to need it or need to take any footage, check firmware upgrades. Um, I went out walking last week, um, got the drone out to quickly get some footage before the weather came in because it was really windy uh, and I needed a firmware upgrade. Now I could have cancelled it but I thought hey it'll be quick, I've got 4G so I let it do the upgrade. 15 minutes later the upgrade finished and the weather had was right on top of me and I was nearly blown off the side of the hill. It was nice when I first got up here. There was no wind, firmware upgrade, and then that's it. And for me to be blown off the side of the hill, it was windy. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, some advice. If I come up with any more other hints and tips, they'll be in future videos. So, uh, good luck and have fun doing your flying. Some other advice to give you uh, about when you get your first drone or a drone is really look into the market that's out there and what, what's right for you. I really investigate the difference between the DJI Mavic, uh, the Phantom 4 and the GoPro Karma. Um, and I settled on the Mavic for a number of reasons and the main one being I was actually more interested in the Karma because it was more of a solution with the gimbal and the Hero 5 uh, attached to it. Uh, however, I was really scared off with this 2016 recall. Uh, I think it really hit that hard. Uh, I've since seen some videos on YouTube uh, for the, with the 2017 version that was released uh, in February this year. And if I'm honest, some of the reviews have been pretty scathing. And that really scared me away. So I looked back at the DJI models and I settled the DJI Mavic because it's, uh, it's small. You can chuck it in a rucksack, as I mentioned previously. You can chuck it in the boot of your car and away you go. Uh, it's light, 
uh, it's easy to use and um, they know what they're doing with DJI they really do they've been making these things for years uh, and you can certainly tell the quality especially when you first set it up when you first fly it um, it's just so easy to use and the support um, it's fantastic. Now one thing I did get was the extended care pack, so I got the extra batteries, the bag uh, and the uh, extra blades and things like that. But it's well worth getting those, um, just purely to make it easier for you. If you don't end up using the bag, you don't end up using the bag. I've seen people chuck them in rucksacks. I first had mine in a rucksack uh, before I switched to actually carrying the bag with me sometimes. Um, mostly because I use my rucksack for other things as well and I didn't want to get it damaged pulling it in and out constantly and so on. Um, but yeah really look into the market, check out what's right for you, uh, look at reviews and listen to those reviews as well. Um, a couple of them are a bit cynical, um, sadly, but they've made that video for a purpose, so perhaps it's worth listening to, see what you think afterwards. Check out some of the footage from them as well, make sure you see that it's the right footage for you. Um, there's some fantastic comparison footage uh, videos as well, where you can see them lined up, the Mavis lined up with the Phantom, with the Karma and so on. Uh, and they're really worth having a look at. So, mm, some good advice, or some hope, hopefully some good advice. Some advice, let's stick with that.